Hi, this is Arpan. Today uh, I will discuss about uh, nearest neighbor classifier uh, implementation in Python. Uh, for this, you would require the dataset, Titanic dataset, which you can download from the Kaggle website. And after downloading the web, uh, this Titanic dataset, you would uh, have to read the libraries, import the libraries, read the dataset, look at the data, how the data looks like. You would might to clean the data, which is uh, cleaned here, and then you would clean the training data set and the testing data set. We, are, we will be selecting some of the predicted VARs just for the sake of purpose of uh, implementing the simple uh, nearest neighbor classifier and see that how we can implement. So it is very simple. A few lines of code you have to write for the predictions on the test data set so let's go into the details of how we will perform this so first of all uh, download this titanic data set from the kaggle website and after you have downloaded you need to import these libraries which is numpy pandas sklearn uh, from sklearn you need to import neighbors for uh, nearest neighbor classifier and uh, cross validation we are importing because we will be performing the cross validation and mod matplotlib will be used for aware data visualization so and this pandas is for reading the data set so pd dot read underscore cb uh, give the path where you have the data set in the csv format once you have downloaded the data set so you would have two data set which is one is train and one is the test data set and they will be in the csv format you have to write like uh, pd dot read underscore csv give the path name so train data set will be stored in the train object and then the test data set will be stored in the test object once you have done uh, this you are you should be sure that you have these two data sets and the objects train and test now you can go uh, and see that what is the training data look like and training and testing data will be similar only difference will be then the test data we won't be having the survived column then the objective of this to predict whether the certain passenger in the Titanic was uh, survived or not based on the variables like the class in which he was uh, uh, in the Titanic uh, and uh, name and what is his uh, sex male or female what is his age how many siblings are there of his and what parents and children number of parents and children ticket number what is his fare he has paid for that ticket in the titanic uh, what is his cabin name and embarked so we have these variables if you can see that passenger id is just uh, just uh, you can say these are random it don't have any information so passenger id we won't be using for predictions of survival so yeah we can but we can say that definitely there will be chances higher chances of survival for a certain person if he might have paid a higher fare may it may also be that uh, if he's in the, some he have more siblings or lesser siblings number of children and uh, all these factors might impact in the survival rate so that's we need to uh, see using the nearest neighbor classifier that uh, which of these uh, variables we can take so but before we go ahead we need to see that we do have some missing values like if you see here in the cabin you see n a n n a n similarly we have some missing values in age as well we also have some missing values in fear we we cannot see here because we just uh, see we are only seeing the first top uh, five rows if you see all the rows you would see that there are missing values in age fear and embarked so what we are doing is for the age we are filling the missing values like nan by the median value of this column age and for the fear also we are doing the same median value of fear and for the embarked what we are doing is filling by the most common value which is s this is just for the sake of purpose of just implementing a simple we are not optimizing the accuracy of survival rate right now with the only intent is to explain how you can just implement nearest neighbor classifier in uh, python 
So let's go and write a, a simple uh, function uh, which is written by def uh, data underscore cleaning and just give the uh, data frame here and you, you just uh, clean the data now access the age column train age and then what you're doing is take the age column and then fill it with the median value of age column same way you will do for fair and same way you will do for embarked so train embarked is equal to train embark dot fill nas here what you're doing is in the age you're filling it with the median value of age uh, column that's why we are writing train age dot median so this will give the median value of age and then we will fill this uh, age each column with the median value of age so this is the way of writing and uh, you can fill these uh, age and fair and embarked for the six uh, we are just encoding at zero and one so that we can use in uh, nearest neighbor and so what we are doing is when uh, when the six is male you you're uh, just you imputing it with zero and when the six is female we are imputing it with one now for the embark also you are still doing the same thing when the embark is equal to s you are doing zero when embark is c you are imputing it one and then two for q so this is the way and you are returning that is data frame so you have cleaned the data frame where you have missing values you have cleaned with median values and the most common values and you have encoded some categorical values so we we are not at this point of time we are not using the name so the print uh, so after writing this uh, data clean uh, uh, function we are cleaning the uh, training and testing data set which is train and test so train and test is about data underscore cleaning which is this function and give the train uh, which is the data frame name you are giving here for the test you will give test here so so you will get the train data in the test which is a clean format now and now we are just choosing some of the uh, predictor variables like sex which is 0 and 1 age which is numerical variable siblings is again uh, a numerical variable and then parent children that is again numerical and fair is also numerical so all are numerical variables we are not using passenger ids that is definitely don't have any information these are random values and cabin also we are not using right now for the purpose of uh, performing the nearest neighbor classifier now let's just separate these predictors and the target so uh, the predictor wires we are taking as six age this and this and this so five variables so train predictor wires this is x and y is train dot survived so survived column for the train data set so this is x and y for the train let's see uh, what we are having for the first five rows in the x uh, just do it like this so first five rows is like this and uh, for the y also you you can see that for the y first five rows is zero one one zero means not survived one means survived now we, we need to initialize the model of nearest neighbor so we have already imported the neighbors uh, so we will write neighbors dot k, k neighbors classifier we just give the number of neighbors we want to choose and uh, we are just giving four right now for the just starting point and weights we are using this distance then we are just doing the uh, five-fold cross validation with the these model parameters which is the four number of neighbors for the cross validation we will use the cross underscore validation dot cross val score we will give the model name which is model neighbors and then give the data x which is uh, uh, predictor val values and this y which is the target values uh, and then the five fold cross validation so we are writing cv is equal to five so this is the way you are just uh, giving first thing is to define the model uh, name like this second is the writing cross underscore validation dot cross underscore val underscore score and give the model name x y n uh, five fold cross validation after you have done this you will see that the uh, model labor cv it is saying that five folds Across the files five folds, we have these uh, values of accuracy, and uh, for five folds, we have these accuracy. We will uh, see that how for which value, like this two means when the for the second fold, we are seeing that one zero one. This one has 0.79. This has 0.77. This is 0.71. 0.719. 
0.7 these are being plotted and uh, we are just uh, seeing what is the across the different folds and then we want to see the what is the average of these uh, accuracy we see that uh, it is 0.75 it is across across 75.6 percent uh, accurate model for and we have done the cross validation for the nearest neighbors you can definitely optimize with uh, the number of neighbors and uh, you can see uh, that if it changes but the main objective is to see that how you can just perform the first thing is to just write uh, this model name like this and then second is to write the cross validation and then you can see the average of this what is the cross validation so cross validation dot mean this will be this much now once we know that this model is working and this has some good accuracy you can just start again and write neighbors dot k neighbors and neighbors is equal to 5 and then you will fit to the training data set and the y uh, target values so once the neighbor is uh, once the data is being fitted to this you can use this object uh, model neighbors to predict so mod model neighbors dot predict on the test data and the test data we will use only the predictor bars because we have only chosen the predictor bars for fitting this uh, k nearest neighbor so these are the predictions definitely you can see uh, which of these uh, predictions are uh, matching you can create the confusion matrix and you can do all these things so so i hope you have understood for how you can just perform the k nearest neighbors and do the cross validation in the simplest uh, settings so if you have liked the video, please uh, do not forget to like and subscribe. So thanks for watching this video. Bye-bye.